How do you remove a paid judgment from a credit report? It's time for Q&A with the credit game. Have you ever had a judgment on your credit report? No. <laughs> That's good because they're a bugger to get off. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> they're the worst. So whether they're paid or settled, it's supposed to stay on your credit report for six years, according to Equifax and TransUnion's guidelines. So just paying it doesn't remove it. However, it's generally required in order for you to get additional financing. Okay, so it is important to get that settled or paid. However, what's really annoying about it or why it's so difficult is because of the fact that the documentation required has to be court documents. Mm. So unlike a collection where you could just get a letter confirming it's done, that's not good enough for Equifax and TransUnion when it's a judgment. So if it goes through the courts, it has to be settled through the courts. So even if you have this side agreement with a plaintiff, do you know what a plaintiff is? The person who is against you? Yeah, exactly. So that brings up the lawsuit. So even if you have some side agreement, that doesn't matter. It, he could send a video or anything confirming that it's already paid, but that's not good enough. It has to get done through the courts. Mm -hmm. So you need to get the appropriate court documentation, and if it's been settled outside it needs to have a rescinded order any kind of official documentation that that should not be on there or that it's been paid and settled and if you can't get that then you got to wait this at least six years for it to fall off the report so it's really important the documentation on that now if you want to know how it affects your score or any kind of links or information about judgments or how to dispute it, those are in the more info or show more section.